How many of you all grew up in households with correct? <laughs> How many of you all are in a relationship with a correct artist? Hmm. <laughs> 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 the answer is to get slim, right? And there isn't any way to take you from form 5 into this. This meaning the transition space of knowing, hey, this is what I want to do. But I don't know OGs. I don't have no mentors. I don't even know how to begin to even go about asking somebody how to do this without them thinking I'm running up on them for autograph or something stupid so or some Instagram pic. And I'm not going through that. I'm not getting posts on in public. So you know what? <laughs> Whoever that celebrity person is, yeah, they will just rock the corner and will rock mine. And there's no communication except through real bitter experiences. And to me, this is what this forum is about. This forum is about some truth telling. And so let me start to talk the things. If you want to be an artist, you will have relationship trouble. Because you see that liminal space, you cannot take your partner and deal with you. And every time you come back from that place, you're not guaranteed to be the same person. And so, brethren in a relationship with an artist, you know that. You know, when they veer off into their space to do what they have to do, even though you like, you know, pulling a corner and watching your partner, yeah, she's just going bad, man, that's my friend. <laughs> you like that. You want to be able to experience that. But you also know that that comes with some, some consequences. She might not even be in the mood to take you on today. And unless you understand, well, I shouldn't personalize this. This is, this is what happens when you have to create art. And on the flip side, no one tells the artist, well, this is a loaded gun you're playing with. You have to be able to know how to explain this to somebody who has no idea how to do this. So guess what? You keep butting into a wall. Keep having these human interactions with people who don't want to be artists, but they like your energy, they like your vibration, they love what you are able to tap into, but they have no way of understanding. Except when we cuss each other and have to make up and say, babes, I really didn't mean that. I was just writing that last verse and you're stressing me out. They expect me to do it. But it has to become easier. And part of what we want to talk about today is how we can empathize with a place that is Trinidad and Tobago and what happens in our country. That's one of the, that's one of the reasons why I hated school. I could not apply sets to real life. Like I couldn't take Pythagoras and go up to the street and make it work. So in all this philosophy, we still have to make it work, right? And so, let me start with this trip in this. When I read something for you, and stop me if it sounds familiar. People might hate me for saying this, but why does soca have to be a fake shop? Why does it always have to be happy, party, clean? Like, why can't we just talk about some regular shit? <laughs> All who agree with that? You agree with that? I agree with that, right? And, I, and I, I will explain why I agree with that, right? And so there's, there's a whole population, there's a whole part of this class who subscribe to that, and there are others who say no, so we already kind of divided on that point. But let's talk about it before we talk about the person who made this comment, right? One of the things, one of the challenges my brother and I, have had over the years is we kind of started off being publicly critical of Soka because we were talking about our life. It, it was not enriching in us. My experience as an everyday human being wasn't made richer by listening to any Soka in particular. And I'm not saying that they aren't the ones. That's exactly the problem. Is the ones. So after that, beat out voice five tunes. Who are moving on to? Like who are going and mix that up with? 
who are going to create this 20 some playlists that I need to get through my week or my week real hard. Nah, I've got had a bringing chronics inside here. I've got had a bringing Jesse Royal inside here. I've got had a bringing some Bob. Pusha T. I've got had a bringing some Pusha T. I've had a bringing some Travis Scott. Because so kind of touching on the bases. And we have to step back and say, but this is where we're from. We call ourselves artists and musicians, right? And we're not even trying. We're not even, like, it's easier to make non soca songs. And while that might sound like, while that might sound like a, a compliment that, you know, you can give yourself, yeah, I can make things that is not soca. Okay, you're not living in New York, you're not living in London, you're living right here. You're shopping in Massey right here. You pay no bills right here. And you're saying that same thing for like five years. I was saying so. At some point, if you're really introspective, you get to realize something was adding up. Like, and not to the point of being a hypocrite, but there's some kind of dissonance between me and my culture. Like, you're not translating it, not understanding me, and I don't. And the morning she made that tweet, she made it with a take home. You dance on, you fuck me dance. No, we know that. There are some people out here have a chip on their shoulder for Nyla one time. No matter what she say, no matter what she do, they're coming for she. Right? <laughs> so whoever had to come for, come for her, they come for she. And we wouldn't get into that because it was really nasty. Right? But when we had our huddle to talk about it, I said straight you know, I endorse it. I endorse it. And I was almost to the point of publicly coming to her defense. That is something I had to step back because if somebody now moved this coat from that letter, me, I am <laughs> so <laughs> the best behavior, the best behavior out yet. So you know I just battle my priest with you. But I was saying, look at it. Look, look at where we are. If there's anybody who is qualified to say that, it's Nyla Blackman. Like, her grandfather was one of the architects of Soka. So in her genealogy, in her family, there's this rite of passage that she is taking advantage of. And I'm sure that she is more informed as to the roots and the rudiments of the thing than most. Also, she's one of the youngest superstars of the culture doing it. She is the one who, you know, have the privilege to post on Instagram, hey, I, hey Naomi, I'm in, I'm in Tidal office today, I'm in Spotify office today, I'm in Apple Music office today. She's understanding the extent to which our culture could stretch. And she didn't start off as a soca artist. Naila is an accomplished songwriter, and many people will not know that. Those who know her singer, songwriter, acoustic guitar, Naila, will know that she's actually a beast. And of course, to get the million views, to get the, not the notoriety, and to shop in Massey right here and pay a bill without pulling out exposure from your pocket, she had to get what she can. And so, what will cause somebody who is arguably living their best life off of soca to say, why this thing has to be so limited? And to me, to us, is a metaphor for something deeper. How many of us prepared, are prepared to dig so deep in the thing that you're liable to find something else you wasn't looking for? <laughs> How many of us want to go so deep because we want to be an artist that you might just discover that you're not? How many of us want to dig so deep into ourselves to realize the principles that we think we hold on and we being good human beings? We actually not. And so plenty of the music that we enjoy, I enjoy Kanye West. Partly because he's visibly conflicted 
I could accept that. <laughs> <laughs> I could accept that. And while Masha Montano is the undisputed soca superstar of the planet, I don't know when he's having a bad day. Except if he's in the papers. <laughs> he beat somebody. <laughs> And I don't know if that is not a problem for you all, but that is a problem for me. I want to be able to turn to my culture for everything I'm going through. I want to be able to turn to the music that is being made here for my every emotion. Because it's not just the music, you know, the music is the message. I want to be able to see somebody who is doing it in my culture and say, is that you want me? Yeah, I remember when he was getting on to talk about it in the interview. So I ain't feeling so bad about my own. And so it's largely, it's largely a fantasy world. And what we come to agitate, even with our lives, is like, is it even possible to have both? Can we make people jump up and wake up? Can we make people wind up and wise up at the same time? I believe our culture is powerful enough for us to do all those things and more. And if you find yourself saying you want to be an artist, whether it is you want to paint, you want to write, you want to make music, a lot of people lean towards music, not because they like music, eh? And we have a way to say different people want different things from music, which is fine. But a lot of people lean towards music because music gives you this ready access, if you're any good, to crowds. So, you could be a real great painter, and you come on your hand up your painting in front of everybody here. People be like, hmm, 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 nice painting. <laughs> Nobody, most people are not going to stand before a painting and go, oh, come on, it's a painting. <laughs> but let somebody come in front of you and they could really sing, or you're impressed by the songwriting, and all of a sudden something inside here is going like, wait, yeah. I'm going to wanna dance, but I want to move, but I'm this person is, I'm going to follow them on Twitter, I'm going to follow them on Instagram, I'm going to get some more of this. I don't know if you all remember, they had a thing called Synergy TV Soka Star. Remember that? So I was here from the beginning, uh, all the way to the very end of it. And when it started to where it ended, I saw how we as a people have bought into the idea that Soka is about Bam Bam, Vagina, penises, good body, and flexing. And wrong. Most oh. important. <laughs> now, <laughs> and to some people, it might find like, it might sound as though we, we kind of belabor the point. Why are you talking about this so much? Why are you talking about this so much? But really, I'm sure what we're talking about is the, is the debt of your soul in a way. Because if, for whatever reason, the main thing that represents your cultural expression, gets pushed into a corner where you feel like there's literally a set of words that you could use to describe how you're feeling. And this is it. This is the music here that is move people, all that sort of shit in form here that. All that raps thing, that jazz thing, all that whatever. Now with people, you don't listen to that. So can answer. Boom. Shoot man. Find up on the other. people. And I like to play this game on the radio, right? And do the same thing. If you're driving your car or driving somebody else's car or you get a chance in your home, Play the game called the drug sex alcohol game. Turn on your radio and just switch to any station. Switch from station to station. And ask yourself why. On a random, you will find either the songs are about drugs, the songs are about alcohol, or the songs are about sex. And some people are looking at me like they know, hey, boy, that, that, that is true. I say anything that you're in a war. And you might not realize it, and there's real reasons why you wouldn't realize it. So a thing called git, why some more people wouldn't realize it. Because we're getting it free now. See how this air condition one in here? It's our real Caribbean islands, can do the thing. Sit down here and leave and the air condition on or they come and class and the air condition on in the cool and you go in your car and the air condition on and you reach home in your room and the air condition on. Someone don't ever leave air condition. We say in that, you're in a battle for your soul. And you're in a battle with your privileges, you're in a battle with your ideas. And unless you really begin to think about where you are, you don't have a single artist in the room. What you have are people who are slaves to an idea that already exists. And an artist can't be a slave. Like, if an artist is a slave, that's an oxymoron. 
artists cannot be a slave. Artists is by nature a rebel. By nature. And at this age, at this time, that what we're supposed to be. If you are not for him, he's not a rebel. Just by your nature. Forget after that. Just by your nature. If you are not that age and you're not a rebel, something died inside. I need to go and find it and give life back to it. I lie. Tell me if I lie, you know. It's how people are wrong within, the, within your classes and things who are dead. Nothing moves them other than what they are told will move them. So, when we come in the class and he like, anybody here about Freetown? And other artists might not feel some type of way, but really and truly, I don't care if you hear about me or you never hear about me, though, you will feel me. <laughs> and right. some of y'all might be, oh, he feel real cocky, but I know I will not. <laughs> and at the end of the day, it very don't matter to me who thinks it's cocky or not. I, I alive, I live in, in this space, and there's something inside of me that generates our vibes. And if you don't have that, right? If you don't understand that in the greater scheme of things, dog, you will never hear before. You will never be here again. This is it. Whatever you say has never been said because it's never been said by you. But that only matters if you have a you to say it. If you don't have a you, then it's somebody else saying it. So if you think you're Travis Scott, or you think you're Marshall, or you think you're your girlfriend, or you think you're somebody else, you're just imitating and patterning. Which is what many times on the boardroom, in the classroom, we try to get you to do. Just repeat, just repeat, just repeat. I say, and fight that shit. I say, and that's the reason I leave, and I'm not telling you to leave school. <laughs> <laughs> but I say, it has something inside here that I'm telling you. It's more than that. It's more than that. And we have all these ideas of what we come to say, and half the time it just end up being a pep talk, though, because we're doing work in prisons right now. Did some work in YTC about two weeks ago. It's one of the hardest things I ever had to do in my life, because I walk into a room of young men between the ages of 13 and 17, and I'm wasting on like this. <laughs> so, uh, dead, nothing. No vibration, no nothing. And a lot of